channel. I'm Jason, and you're now tuned into I Speak Geek. So today I wanted to talk to you about iPhone 14 Pro Max, and my experience over the last few weeks. And the first words I can use to sum it up is buzz not so separate. Um, it just feels like iOS 16 wasn't ready to go with the launch of the new iPhone. I have since seen my screen stay stuck in the portrait mode uh, when I've accidentally rotated my phone while updating the wallpaper. This is one that seems to occur the most consistently. Also, when I'm in an app, I can't go home unless I lock the phone and then unlock the phone. You know, I try swiping up and it just does nothing. Not to mention, my signal has been all over the place. Um, while I'm in my office, I'm getting one to two bars of service. And this is from getting four bars of service. So this one had me instantly regretting my upgrading the phone. Um, and I thought to myself, all this just to get rid of the notch? You know, trust me, I know I'm not the only one that who actually hated the notch and couldn't wait to upgrade their phones just to get rid of it. And this was front and center, especially when I had my backbone connected to my phone because I like to game on my phone. Um, and this really had me think, rethinking my decision just for the bugs alone. And I know I'm, I'm harping on a lot of the negatives of this phone, but the iPhone 14 Pro Max is really a great phone. I've since switched to the iOS 16.1 beta, which seems to resolve a majority of my issues, especially when it comes to connectivity. But I've noticed an issue when uh, my AirPods Pro are connected, uh, they don't seem to disconnect. And so I always see them like in my battery center and is constantly draining the, the battery for my AirPods Pro. Um, I'm hoping that they release a software update that resolves this issue. The only thing that, that, can say, that can be said about the new iPhone is the same phone with a few new tricks. My favorite is the haptics. When typing and then the animations when uh, Face ID makes when unlocking or using your passcode. Currently, battery is lasting about a day and with the always-on display turned on. So I'm considering turning this off to get more battery life, especially since I have an Apple Watch and this does a lot of the notica notifications for me. Um, if you had last year's model, picture quality is about the same. Although Apple did upgrade the main camera to a 48 megapixel lens, along with a 12 megapixel ultra wide and 12 photo lens that should still take some stunning photos. To me, where Apple shines the most is in video. It has the best video I've seen on a phone, especially with their new action mode. This reduces the shakiness of videos. So if you're filming, um, you're gonna get less of that stutter. You're gonna get more like footage from one of those action cams, like a GoPro. And lastly, cinematic mode can now shoot in 4K 30 frames per second. Mwah. This is what I currently shoot in. And I almost forgot one of the features Apple touted was crash detection. And lately it's been catching a lot of flack because of those who ride roller coasters, something Apple probably will fix through a software update. But I can't seem to see why they didn't uh, think of this before or do some additional testing. Um, this feature actually is a real good feature and has been saving people so kudos to Apple for this, but whenever you're on a roller coaster and it goes really fast and then stops, uh, really sets off crash detection, emergency services have been contacted to the uh, vast majority of these amusement parks with the people with crash detection turned on their phones. Um, it's kind of like what the crash detection does for a car, it sees you going really fast in GPS, and then if you come to an abrupt stop, it kind of thinks that you're in a crash. So I have to say, minus the bugs, this is really a great phone. But if you're on like a 13 Pro Max, I would say skip it. But if you're on an iPhone 12 Pro Max or below that, go ahead and upgrade. And before I forget, there's this new SOS satellite feature that will allow you to call for help should you get lost or trapped somewhere. So this is using new bands on the phone to pinpoint a satellite there's a guided, uh, set, or it's like a guided mode through this this whole process, and you should be able to connect to a satellite so you can contact help wherever you're at. Say you don't have any service, and those are just some of my thoughts about the iPhone 14 Pro Max. 
Guys, please don't forget to leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. I'm Jason, and you just tuned in to I Speak Geek. Peace.